It's been over a month since my last video on the 10th anniversary of CSGO, and we have some news. As many of you know, and probably already forgot, there is a sticker contest set up much like the other item contests, such as Dreams and Nightmares. This time, of course, featuring stickers, with the theme of the 10th anniversary of CSGO. Looking at the amount of workshop submissions so far, it appears that there's far less interest in this contest so far. Part of this is, of course, the fact that it's a sticker contest, not a skin contest, which will always be more popular and usually have more money on the table, as a key costs $3, whereas a capsule only costs about a dollar, depending on your currency. Speaking of currency, I'm currently, as of recording this, about 50 subscribers away from my goal of 600 by the end of... Oops. I guess now by the end of May, so consider subscribing to help me reach that goal. Anyways, even though there are less submissions, which is also, of course, partly because there's still a few months of a contest to go, but still, so far there are some pretty quality items. Here are some of my favorites. Starting with the Booth sticker by Meguli, who seems to have some really high quality stickers, it sports a meme parody with Booth, the arms dealer mentioned in many of the lore-filled weapon flavor texts, as well as being one of the few unplayable but still visually represented CSGO characters, being seen in various operations as well as being the star of the original arms deal update. This sticker is a parody of the Stonks meme and fits the character incredibly well. Great work to the artist. I'll have links where you can vote for and otherwise support all of the entries I mentioned in the video. The CS10 to-do list by Polano is a perfect example of the type of idea I got when I heard that this contest was happening. It perfectly encompasses the crude humor of the CSGO community, relates to the game heavily, and has a unique gimmick. I wouldn't be surprised if this one made it in. The CS10 The Best Grenadier by Okayush is a great, funny, and unique sticker that looks great even when scraped, and I would absolutely love to see it in the game. It depicts a phoenix soldier who is swole in only the right place that matters, the throwing arm, and I think that the sticker would be a smash hit. It would be interesting to see what <clears throat> creative sticker crafts we could see being made from it. Those are just a couple that I saw and enjoyed, but don't just take my word for it. Please go check out and support the stickers that you want to see added, and hey, why not research how to make one yourself and submit it? If you already have one, or have begun making one, feel free to tweet it at me. I'll show it off in my next video. I've been thinking about the first video, and one of the possibilities that I didn't really cover, but is pretty likely when I thought about it, is old maps, or specifically old versions of the current maps being added back into the game for a short period of time. It could be really successful. After all, all you needed to do is search for 2012 to 2013 CSGO version videos with old maps in the thumbnail on YouTube, and they'll usually have views in the millions. Tons of people still have nostalgia for these now almost decade old versions of Counter-Strike's favorite maps, such as Nuke, Inferno, Train, and maybe Overpass, although that one's less likely as it never had a full-blown graphical and gameplay overhaul like the other maps I mentioned. It'd be pretty simple to port these maps, possibly fixing a few exploits here, lightly balancing a thing or two there, and then releasing them, as they shouldn't get too broken with today's version of CSGO, even given their age, as at least there are Source Engine maps. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if so, please consider subscribing. So, thanks for watching, have a good night, and as always, bye.